If you're looking to declutter your charts without actually losing any of the markups, this is the video for you. Accessing the object tree is straightforward. On the right side of the price scales, you'll find this set of logos. Scroll down to the one that looks like a double square and click on it. This is called the object tree. Now that we're in the object tree, let's talk about how to organize and manage your chart elements effectively. You can create folders for categories and drag whatever you want inside. For example, say you like tracking entries from multiple strategies, you could put all the drawings and positions from one strategy in one folder, then put everything you need for the other strategy in another folder. You can always expand or collapse sections to view specific types of objects, making it easier to focus on the relevant elements. Additionally, you can hide or show individual objects directly from the object tree, enabling you to declutter your chart and focus on just the key analysis. You can always rename objects directly from the object tree by double clicking on their names, allowing you to add descriptive labels for better organization. The object tool isn't just for organization, it can also be used as a powerful tool for analysis. Let's say you're the type of trader who likes to confirm that you're trading with your edge. At the end of each week, you'd go and categorize and temporarily hide all of your drawings from your live trades so that you could go into replay mode and backtest the week to confirm that you traded mechanically. By utilizing the object tree efficiently, you can streamline your charting process and devote more time to analyzing market movements and refining your edge.